and this is the one where I said it's a draw really so it all depended on what they were going to do I was immediately going to move my king wasn't I we did say we we're going to push this pawn to try and block that off he may attempt to come down and close down and try and own the area but it's like a backwards forward situation with the um, the pawns here so we'll do that and what is this one so we've taken the knight so we're up a minor piece because we had a 2 on 1 with the bishop queen's moved out of the way and it looks like we could look to reduce down because the bishop can take it's just the problem we've got is the rook can then come and is facing off both bishops so if we did take his rook comes but then we take his rook so it would be this rook that would have to come here and he's got the rooks facing so let's do that again bishop takes rook comes here so it's not going to have a two on one defense apart from maybe the queen coming here to defend uh, yeah and the bishop can move i think so we'll have to go with that he could always just take the rook here either way that leaves us with a little bit of space it's just then his rook can come here and he's going to be on our bishop which is pinning, pinned to our queen hmm <laughs> so if we go there say he does take then it, actually our queen is off of there then if he does do that and then if his rook does come here oh he is on both of them so our queen is going to have to be the saviour and come up to defend yep let's capture capture that and what is happening in this one well this is where we've got the rook and they've got the knight so we've challenged the knight because we wanted to get it out of the way we thought it was going to come and put a check on our king here so that might be a little bit better for us because if we bring the rook here we're pinning the knight to the rook this king may come to attack the knight, our rook so when we can push the pawn up have to be careful though because he could move his knight anyway to come and attack our rook here so then we have to take his rook off the board and maybe his knight takes well it'd be a rook against the knight okay i think that's what we're going to go with although yeah we could do that he might just ignore that completely anyway because he's getting the pawn he's getting the pawn and we could then go with a check on the king but then the king just goes to safety and uh, I suppose we just take the rook off the board yeah same situation knight versus the rook hmm shall we push the pawn first why should we give him a free pawn but does that give him time to do whatever he's going to do moving his knight maybe attacking our rook so then we're on the defensive then I think I'm going to go with this oh there's more ok this is where we've got a minor piece extra and we're trying to keep that advantage as best possible we were going to bring our rook here to challenge their rook now it's looking like we're fairly ok to oh no we're not yeah because we've got the pawn here so we need to do something about that first before his bishop comes and attacks kind of slowing us down you know we want to get into some sort of action maybe the queen not coming there maybe the queen coming here because we're on the back at the minute it's just that this pawn is getting attacked mm, I don't want to lose the tempo I'm actually going to take it off because it's a bit annoying they're just sitting waiting to take the pawn off let's do that and that looks like the last one okay so let's um, see if we can get into this uh, arena three minute session or 
Why am I too late? No, looks like it's just started. Four o'clock. Hmm. No, it's 22 minutes left. Right, okay. So we'll click in, see if we can. Um, I feel like I've not played three minutes for a while. Okay. So we won't get to the second page, but it's only got 22 minutes left. Maybe get two or three games in. Just make sure it is a three minute zero. Yeah, three minute zero. It's taken a while. I'm We're off, let's go. <laughs> let's push through here. Let's grab. Let's go for the fancy queen. Here. And he's still going for the palm. He's got the check on. I missed an opportunity. Mind you, he's not missed an opportunity really, has he? Let's do this then. He still missed that opportunity because <laughs> he could have won a pawn because he would have had a check on our king. What else is he going to miss? Fingers crossed to miss something else. Uh, I thought the rook was coming there, but it's not coming there. Uh, quite frankly, I don't really know what that knight move was, so it's just thrown me off for a second. I thought maybe there was some magic. There isn't any magic, could go there. Moving too slow, let's just um, get the tempo up a bit. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. We'll get another game. I was a bit lucky. Let's go. 13 minutes left. Oh, we might get a few more games in if they all finish this fast. What is this king pawn thing? Trying to master this, isn't it? But it's already opened up his kingside area, so that's a bit. I'm not sure about doing that. Locking in my bishop in that square. Take. Okay, he's playing simplified. That makes sense for me. And castle. Let's capture. Knight's captured. Capture with a check. Knight takes. Knight doesn't take. Knight takes with a check type thing. Right, have I lost some sort of tempo here? Knight attacking this pawn has to come. Yep, yeah, okay, so we attack the pawn again. He pushes down. Pretty straightforward. Where does the knight go? Coming back. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's come back. If we push again, he's just foot. What's he doing? Let's push on here. It's another one where I'm not too sure what that was. Did they need to rush that? Do we get the queens off the board or not? Are we plus anything? I'm going for it anyway. Let's take his kings in the middle of the board. He's going to have to move it now. Grab a pawn, maybe. Okay. So, his king's in hiding, but he's got all this open space now that he can play with. Which is um, not always a good thing. Let's attack his knight. Let's get the knight for free. It's one of those backward-forward moves that you think you're covered. Let's attack the rook. Here. So and oh, he's got an X-ray through. So we're gonna have to move our king. It's not gone for the X-ray. It's coming down for the pawn down here. Damn! How do we negate this? Let's go here. Up. Oh. And I thought it was gonna go back down again, but he probably will do. Let's 
go here. It's my time running out. Isn't it? Oh dear. Let's go here. Wow, okay, we're piling through these a bit quick. I think that's enough games for me, isn't it? We've got 10 more minutes, so we'll just do a few more. I'm trying to finish on a high. Now I'm going to be like, <laughs> flattening out now. 100 and some things. Yeah, yeah, we're not getting second page. <laughs> it's on a big pause. I'll take a break. Excellent. That was nice practice. Um, good training sessions, just throwing stuff out there. Um, the games are getting better uh, in terms of training games and we do take more risks in there but now as we're trying to sort of bring the two processes together you know to eventually be half decent in all of the areas you know the proper games and the um, training games I've still got to separate in my brain because it's practice I have to have that element of practice of being able to just be natural you just be natural with it and just basically just throw anything out there just keep throwing stuff out and hopefully finding good positions without actually having to think about it so that's why the, they're, they're the practice ones the proper ones got to focus really put put it all in and um, see if we can get good permit good positions from proper thought processes so that's today's training session and uh, look forward to training some more tomorrow